this is a an open hearing action plan for the program year of 2023. Um, if you would all stand um, and we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So I just want to thank you guys all for coming. I think this one might be one of the bigger audiences I've, I've I think had. so. So thank you. <laughs> so the purpose of the public hearing is to receive oral statements regarding the city's planned use of 2023 Community Development Block Grant and Home Investment Partnership Investment Funds. Now, each year the city receives an annual grant allocation from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development through community development block grants and home investment part partnership program. It's much easier to just say home. <laughs> so um, we have three main objectives that we have to do with CDBG um, and home funds. Uh, we create, uh, provide decent affordable housing we create suitable living environments, and we expand economic opportunities. In order to access these funds, we do have to do um, a planning process, um, and part of that process is this meeting. Um, we do have to run an advertisement um, for 30 days in the paper, and then we have a meeting afterwards. Uh, what will happen next is tomorrow we will be submitting this plan to HUD. Um, and it's not the hard copy, it's like an electronic version and you cut and paste the lines. So this year, HUD awarded us $1,337,018. And in uh, home, we have $678,558. So the uses of these funds, there's basically eight activities that we're required to use the funds for. Um, the first one is the improvement of the condition of the existing housing stock. Um, for our home rehab loan program or our HDL program, we're going to use carryover balances from 2022. In our minor home repair program, this also includes emergency repairs to um, single family owner occupied residentials, 300,000. And uh, we have a skill, we, we fund the uh, the Center for Independent Living skill, and we intend to provide about $47,465 in um, for ramp and bathroom modifications, mainly for our disabled folks. Um, the second activity is we wanna create new affordable housing. Uh, we have basically three projects. We have our Helping Hands project which is the construction of 23 housing units for families, individuals, and homeless veterans. The city council's approved $800,000 in home funds to be funded from 2023 of 600,000 and 200,000 for the following year. We have the Nehemiah expansion program and we're very happy to say it's gonna be starting really soon. The city's pledged $1.2 million towards the IDA approved development, and that'll provide 40 new affordable housing units. The city plans on providing 600 um, of subsidy in both 2023 and 2024. Nehemiah scattered site development, 400,000, and then we have growth international acquisition and repair. We intend to use 177,000 from home dollars and 173,000 from CD fund, CDBG funds for their initiative. Um, the third activity is to increase home ownership. Home ownership is a traditional path for households to build equity and wealth and to invest in their community. The city is coordinating its efforts with Bloomberg Harvard city leadership initiative for a whole block restoration activities. This will occur in the formerly known TSP or the Neighborhood of Hope. Um, this, uh, the goal is to have two to four units developed with the proposed budget. 
we have set aside about $441,000 in CDBG funds. Now, here we are, we're eliminating blighted conditions throughout the city. The proposed use of $50,000 of CDBG, fund, <laughs> CDBG funding for the demolition of blighted structures during this program year. Um, through the demolition, the scattered sites is mainly, um, we have a lot of calls, and this is mainly could be a garage demo or something of that nature if it poses a, um, a health hazard like lead-based paint and we're remediating the lead in the house anyways, we might be using this, um, or we might be uh, assisting public works with their funds to demo properties. And the big demolition, we have uh, allocated about 250,000 towards the Pillsbury project. Now the city pledged about 1.2 million by ordinance, and those will come from other city funds. Is that for this year? Mm -hmm. That was 250 yep. for this year. It is. We're currently working on the environmental and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, but you were in the meeting. Yeah, <laughs> I was in the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> so our next activity is basically um, we're going to do some economic development loans, um, 200,000, and that would carry over, and that is to supplement the business assistance aspect. Um, and now we have um, improving our neighborhood infrastructure and public facilities. And we have put aside about approximately $499,093, and that is a carryover balance from 2022. And the reasons why we, we carried over the last few years um, so that we now we, it looks like we have a ton of funds, but really a lot of them are spoken for. <laughs> So um, the next one, this is, um, I really love this one. It's uh, public services. And uh, we are uh, only allowed to put a, aside about 10% of our funds for these. Um, and for operating support for nonprofit service providers, we have about 200,533. The last um, part and remaining dollars are basically for planning, administration, and capacity building. Um, through uh, CDBG, we have 250000 From home, we have 67000 approximately set aside. And uh, for CHOTO operating subsidy, we have about 33000 So with that, I'm opening it up for any questions that you might have. These are one year. So this, these, this funding cycle will start July 1st of 2023 and end June 30th of 2024. And whenever we have remaining funds, we just roll them into the next year. Or however we might want to do it. <laughs> That's what we've been doing. However, we have some flexibility that we can roll over funds that are left over. Mm -hmm. So, But they really want us to you know, to keep receiving the funding that we're receiving, it's best if we, we spend, spend those it. funds during that year. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting word, awarding funds. Well, it, every... Um, subrecipient agreements a little bit different. Um, some of our, our uh, you know, building affordable housing, there's uh, recapture agreements or second mortgages and notes put on them. Um, for the most part, though, it's all reimbursement. So you incur the cost. Um, if you have an agreement, we have to have an environmental done before the signing of the agreement. And then um, when you incur your cost, then we reimburse you. Does that help? All right. Is there any other questions? Yes. Yes, we have an online application. It's through our neighborly software. Um, 
interesting with your project though, that was rolled into a city application. So it kind of, um, I might need some extra stuff from you, but you guys have already filled out an application and that was in that broader 1.2 million. Mm -hmm. Are there any other questions, comments? I would like all of you, thank you all for coming. It's been a pleasure meeting with you tonight. And um, meeting adjourned. At 541. <laughs>